Okay, blessings. I'm taking a moment out of my ancestor ritual because I'm I just finished uh, feeding the spirits and I'm letting the candles burn down. But I have decided to do go and do some New Year's resolutions since this is my New Year's since yeah well my pagan New Year. Um, and I printed out, I just, I printed this out. You can draw it if you want to, um, but my arthritis is kind of hurting tonight, so I just did it through finding a, uh, finding this online and then blowing it up and then print it out. So, anyway, I just wanted to share with you. So, anyway, I have spirit, water, fire, uh, earth and air and then I have of course um, spirit I think that's kind of self-explanatory so that it would be my religious practices which I will be filling in my goals here for the year um, water I I chose health for water um, but if you feel that health is better represented with a different element I would go ahead and do whatever feels right for you. This is just how I'm doing it because I always find that the elements call to people a little bit differently. But I did health for water because my health is kind of fluid so I have thyroid issues and such. So I will put my health goals and what I wish to accomplish this year um, here. And for fire I did relationships since um, they can be, well, yes, they can burn, they can burn brightly and they can burn short, or you can keep it going long. So I wish to put my goals for my relationships in my life. These can be family, these can be friends, this can be um, a personal relationship with somebody uh, special, but for me it's mostly going to be uh, friends and family since I have discovered this last year that I have become quite a recluse and um, I think that that's kind of unhealthy in the whole run and these are to help me become completely balanced um, hence the choice I chose for balance in my life so I want my spirit to be in balance with uh, in harmony with the elements so um, with earth I chose home so I'll put my uh, my um, home and heart. Uh, ooh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, my computer startled me. It started making sounds. Um, all right. So I'll be putting my goals for for my home life um, here. So uh, I truly believe that the things that you have in your life, um, the kind of physical clutter that you bring into your house can affect your own um, state of mind because you will need your house to be a place of refuge and not somewhere that you come home and you're like Ugh, so dreading it dreading all the work to do at home so keeping it in in a good order for yourself um, this may or may not be like I, I'm not saying you have to be a clean freak but um, keeping it so that it's stress-free because your house should be your refuge from life and from like your outside world from your career because those can be very stressful your home is supposed to be somewhere that uh, brings you back to your safety and your grounding so anyway I have knowledge under air so I'll put my the um, kind of things that I want to be studying this year in my spot here and hopefully this will all be able to bring it together and I'll be putting my central goals here for my life. Um, I usually choose something off of my bucket list to go in the center so that each year I'm accomplishing, I feel like I've accomplished something by removing something. It can be a very simple um, bucket list goal but to uh, even a trip or just something that you've always wanted to do, whether it's um, 
uh, stay up and and uh, just uh, watch the sunrise. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything horribly complicated, but these are just your. I, I put my bucket list goals in the center because I like to uh, accomplish at least one each year, so that I feel that I have spent my year wisely. So this is just me. Um, I thought I'd just share this part of my, um, well, <laughs> my night. Um, so I know my my brother was out with his kids doing the whole Halloween thing and they stopped by so that was fun. And now that I've gotten the, um, le <laughs> I find it more of the mainstream part of the night done, the, the evening now belongs to my more serious rituals. So I just thought I'd share this one with you and I will talk to you later and hopefully um, you enjoy. I mean, like I said, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can just draw this. Or you can, like like I did, since I have arthritis and my hands aren't the greatest, you can just print this out. There's plenty. I just Googled, <laughs> Googled it and uh, copied and blew it up and printed it out. So, I mean, it's not that complicated. So, I hope you enjoy. All right. See you next time. Blessed be.